What's up guys and welcome back to LEGO Minifigures Online. In the last episode we just sort of adventured around the new volcano island and we also went over and uh, just sort of, uh, well, we took on the giant spider over here. But today we're actually gonna be doing some pocket quests and stuff. So first, we gotta teleport over here to Pioneer Beach. Not a big deal. And then we can just run on over. And yeah, switch to the Pizza Man. Well, in the last episode we did try the uh, paintballer out, but not too much, whoa, a tiger. We actually haven't seen him in the last episode. So let's uh, fight him now really quick. Big old tiger, not that hard to take out. <laughs> Tigers have been more of a challenge in the past, but we gotta go over here. I'll change it back to the paintballer because he can make us go a little bit faster at the least. But yeah, we just gotta go into what this is, which is a pocket adventure. Beach cave, and we'll actually get the lifeguard guy. So, let's go. Alrighty then, so we're in beach cave and hopefully we get the lifeguard guy pretty easily here, but we gotta defeat the champion. A typical and very nice um, pocket quest. Oh, this is really cool. So it's like a beach, but just under underground, which is <laughs> pretty awesome, but it's also a little weird. It's like, where's the sunlight coming from in here? <laughs> Who knows? Okay then, pick up all this stuff though. Take care of these guys nice and easy. Oh, this area is really cool looking. I like it a lot. Take care of you. Whoa, enemies all over the place. They really are starting to ramp up the craziness of this game to say the least. Um, these guys disappeared there for a moment. Hello, how did I not hurt you at all? Whoa, I can zoom in. I didn't even know I could do this. Ooh, wow. <laughs> Alrighty then, let's uh, dodge out of here. No, I can't. I gotta wait for the cooldown. Oh, go for this. Come on, come on, keep going, keep going. Yep, there we go, took care of him. I was getting attacked there a good amount though. <laughs> the thing is, is that it seems like our characters do have so much darn health in this game. But at this point, by the time we reach level nine, we'll be able to upgrade our characters so much because we're already have 1400 stars. So soon, I would assume that by the time we get level nine, we'll probably have like two or 3000. So we'll be able to do plenty of level ups and upgrades and stuff like that. Let's uh, move the pizza man. I think he'd be a perfect opportunity right here. Then switch to you guys and tear, tear that down. Yep, just like that. Okay, make sure we get all this too. <laughs> Eat pizza, you fiend. <laughs> okay. Um. Hmm. So let's uh. Yep. Take care of this. It'd be funny if pizza was like the answer <laughs> and made every bad guy good. Nobody can defeat the cravings of a pizza. <laughs> okay. Get this stuff. Angry Tiki Man over here. At least we can use the pizza to fight. <laughs> fight for justice, basically. Um. Take care of that guy. <laughs> oh, they were. They weren't even doing anything. They were just dancing in the corner, and I ruined their fun. I'm sorry, monkeys. I'm really sorry. But now we can take care of all these guys. I love this move. It definitely is, my my opinion, the most powerful move in the game is the revolutionary's right click, at least in my experience. I mean, I've tried every play, you know, every character that I've unlocked at this point, and definitely it has impressed me the most with its damage and, you know, just the overall, like, ability of it. Okay, it looks like this might be the champion here. So we'll just do this again, why not? Ooh, and we're gonna be able to take care of just about everything he has. Three tigers, this is like a tiger chamber. <laughs> Mandrius, though, is who we're fighting. So this is almost done now. Whoa, that was crazy looking. Um, Whoa, <laughs> all right, dodge over this way and boom, quest complete, defeat the champion. And we unlock the lifeguard guy. So he looks actually pretty darn cool. He is a series 12 and a nature defender. So let's go and yep, take care of that and open this up as well and we'll get a few different parts. We have the sea captain head, which is pretty darn cool. Can I pick it up? There I go. So let's actually switch over now. Sorry, paintball guy, but we've had some fun with you, but we're going to move over to the lifeguard guy. And let's check out his stats. He has, once again, a lot of, actually, he's a rather in the middle character. He has a lot of power, but he has even more defense and only a tiny bit of creativity. A lot of the guys we pick up just don't have much creativity. I think the pizza guy has the most creativity out of our group. Yes, most definitely. We need more creativity on here. <laughs> All right then, so let's check him out. Is he, it seems as though he is a melee character. Like if I fight this tiger, yep, he hits him He hits him with a little um, floaty thing. So that's interesting. Um, let's open this chest over here. So what is his special move? Whoa, a huge tsunami, which is really, really dang awesome. Um, but yeah, this is the lifesavers. You smash your enemies with a multi-strike combo attack. Cool. And then this is, you create a sparkling whirlpool of water and surf around that's, water and surf around you that slows and damages your enemies. Okay, okay, uh, let's get this stuff. All right then, now we just gotta make the long and lonesome walk back so that we can uh, go back to the main adventure. Okay then, so there is that pocket adventure done. So now we're gonna move over to the next one, which is right over here by River Crossing. We walk across this bridge. There's a nice big old cave to walk into. So why don't we go ahead and do this one as well? I really like the lifeguard though. He's really dang cool. 
But let's see, this is gonna be the Skydiver for Windshine. Let's head in. I have to say, it's really awesome that the game seems to be loading faster now since we last played, but Area Quest, defeat the champion. So we can just right click and we can take down a ton of guys. It doesn't seem to do all that much damage though. It definitely destroys a lot of stuff around us. So if we wanna collect things in a very fast like motion or you know fashion, this guy's gonna be our man. But besides that, he doesn't do too much damage, which is a bummer, but that's okay. They can't be perfect. <laughs> if there was one perfect character, then why would I play as any of the others, do you know? So, um, let's get this guy, and then just keep on clicking this start. They're like, my big goal is to have as many stars as possible for level nine. Also, I didn't even notice we did actually hit level eight, so that's good. Alrighty then, so I can like take care of this. Oh boy, oh boy, excuse me. And then boom, just like that. And it does take out everything around us pretty nicely though. Like it's really good for collecting things, but beyond that, it could be better. Anyways, let's just keep going. Um, so I could go like this, destroy all that stuff. It didn't really give me too many stars, though. And the cooldown is pretty low. It's only five seconds, so not that big of a deal. So it's, and his, his attacks are very strong, now. I've noticed. So let's do this. And of course, he has tons and tons of health. The big thing about this character is that he's a little tanky. Um, he has a lot of health to him and a lot of defense. But I feel like this uh, area is actually pretty similar. I think we've actually adventured a similar... Um, pocket quest before where it was like the same exact cave, but there's different and harder enemies now, which is sort of weird, but I, I understand that, I guess. Um, hmm. So we could like go like this and take care of all this really quickly. Like I said, fantastic for collecting stuff. All right then, um, yeah, let's get this stuff over here and then boom, just do it again, immediately. <laughs> so many stars. All right then, rain pizza on this, turn to revolutionary and take care of these guys as well. Nice, okay. Yeah, we're gonna make our way to level nine as fast as possible. I don't know if we're gonna be able to do it in this episode, but we'll try and, um, so there's the big boss over there. So I think I'll walk over, start throwing this over there, and do this, and then ready? Start taking him down. <laughs> oh gosh, he's gonna throw that at me. I dodged it, whoa, the big old flame ball over there. That was crazy looking. So this is Zephyr, the Aeromancer. There we go, quest completed. Defeat the champion, and we unlock the Skydiver, so two characters unlocked in one episode. We'll try out the Skydiver in the next episode, though. We won't worry about him too much this time around. I want to dedicate, you know, one new character per episode. That'd be pretty darn cool. With that being said, let's switch back to our current new character, which is um, the Lifesaver, the um, yeah, lifeguard here, and just keep breaking stuff here. As long as we can just keep unlocking stuff. And we'll unlock that big chest as well. Hopefully we can find some duplicates so that we can get even more stars, but also we can get some fresh stuff too. So this is the Cyclops Bonnie. Let's grab that for us. Alrighty then, so um, hmm, we can just head on right out now, so that's good. Alrighty then, so now we're back into the main island and we can finally make our way across this bridge. So let's hit all these guys with the tsunami, land the pizza on them, didn't even need it. <laughs> Cages are getting super strong at this point. So we're almost at 2,000 stars, and now we're across the bridge in a new untamed land. Let's see what we can do here. And I think that after we are done with everything within the pirate islands, including, of course, the Isle of Yar and the Volcano Island that we're currently in, I think that I'm actually going to go back a bit. Because if you've noticed, um, you unlock parts for certain minifigures within certain islands, but if you don't do it within you know, a few pocket quests, it will, you know, move on to new characters. So I think that eventually we will have to backtrack to Isle of Yar to unlock more, but that doesn't matter right now. Like I said, I'll do that once we're done the main quest here, I think. All right, then let's put some pizzas down. We'll uh, do this as well. That should take care of everybody decently. It seems like, you know, the more that it's around, the more damage that it does. So that's interesting. I'm not really sure how much it works, but uh, it's working something. <laughs> All right, now let's take care of this last monkey. There you go. Okay then, let's keep going. This, this is a volcano island, it's pretty cool. Lava Surfer, cross the lava river. This is intimidating, I do not want to fall into that. Won't be good for me. But I can build this decently quick with the Pizza Man. Okay, and another ice cream truck. It's so nice to see you, Mr. Ice Cream Truck. You're always here aiding in our adventure by giving us refreshing, tasty treats. <laughs> okay, um, and get this stuff too. And then, hmm, what can we do around here? It looks like there are two ways to go. Okay, this top left area is a dead end, so we wanna go that way first. Whoa, a lot of stuff happening. I'm gonna switch to Revolutionary here. I think it'll be the best situation for what we're dealing with right now. There we go, and hmm. All right, take care of this stuff too. Whoa, don't hit me, don't hit me. <laughs> All right, luckily, this'll get some stuff done. Throw some pizza onto those guys while we deal with these spiders. Ever so unfortunate spiders. All right, there you go. Good, okay. What is up here? This is crazy looking, because this looks intimidating. What is going on here? Got dark and spooky really quickly. Whoa! 
Uh-oh, discover the cursed treasure, dare into the shadows of the mountain and uncover its secrets. Oh no, but they're here. The spiders are all here. Okay then, it actually might be a perfect opportunity for the tsunami though, whoa. That is so cool. I'm just gonna keep running around until that um is back off its cooldown. Ready, boom, do it once more. Take care of a ton of these spiders. So much XP, even though it's all in little bursts. <laughs> that is awesome, but also so dang scary. Okay, um, so let's do that one more time and hopefully we get everything. So wow, a lot of treasure. Just like, look at all that gold. <laughs> That's awesome. So uh, now we can head on out of here though. We found the hidden treasure of the mountain. We can get these guys too if we want, so. Oh, just like that. Switch to Pizza Guy to get the rain down. Just for a little more experience is my only focus. Um, and these guys are back too. All right, I'll turn around on you. If you want to fight, I'll fight. <laughs> I'll take you all out. Alrighty then, so let's actually build this up. Yep, just like that. I think we actually did this one, but if it gives me some extra stars, I won't complain. It does! <laughs> Two more for main. So let's uh, go over here. This is where the uh, main quest area is. Area quest, smash your way through the pirate camp. Okay, um, let's uh, do this. I like this combo we have going on right now. It does seem to do some good work on all the uh, special moves. Um, take care of this last guy. And now we just gotta focus on you over here, buddy. Yep, just like that. Good, oh boy, more of them. <laughs> Get out of here, there you go. So we should be good, yeah, okay. See all the birds flying around, this is an intense area. So we just gotta focus that down. We'll just keep on doing this right now. Take care of all these galleonwags, see how many of them we can take out within the next little bit. Um, these guys too, ready, right, do that, and then boom, and then ooh, come on, come on, come on. Yep, got it, got it, good. <laughs> okay, and uh, let's do this for these two, yep. Maybe, maybe I'm being a little bit overkill. I don't think I need that much <laughs> to destroy them all, but there we go. It is definitely easier to collect with this stuff, though, which is awesome. All right, we're almost halfway through this mini side quest here. Do this, do this. Yep, there we go. We just gotta keep smashing, man. Gotta keep smashing. Um, oh, and there's some guys up here. Then let's uh, throw the pizza down on them if we can. Ready? Pizza throw. <laughs> okay, and then take care of this thing. And then these guys. Okay, good, very good. So we're almost done. I think that we need to uh, go up this hill now and see what's on there. It looks like the yellow Explore the Island is actually up here. So let's see if we can't finish these guys off, just like this, there we go. Now we just need to finish up this quest and then I don't wanna cross the bridge just yet because there's more quests over there. I think I need to do it one at a time. All right, and these should be the last few guys we need to take out. There we go, quest completed. Smash your way through the pirate camp. So in the next episode, we'll make our way up this hill and see what we can continue on doing in this quest. But either way, thank for now, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's episode, make sure to give it a like, share with your friends and family, and comment in the comment section below. If you've watched this point in the video, make sure you comment lifeguard guys so that I know you've watched at the end of the video and that you're a super-tastic viewer. But either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.